Welcome back to my channel again. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you've been coming back, if you're a subscriber and you watch my videos, I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate that you come back and that you have been a part of this journey for me. If you are new and if you haven't subscribed, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm just trying to grow and, you know, get a bigger, bigger channel. It's a lot of fun for me to shop and show you what I buy. So please just join us and hit subscribe. And everyone, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below. Both of those help me so, so much with being seen and so that I can grow this family, this YouTube adventure a little bit bigger. So thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe and please like. And as always, please always leave a comment because those are fun. Now, I have a Dollar Tree haul today. I have a kind of a mismatch of plenty of fun stuff. That's kind of how I roll. It's just kind of grabbing what I need and showing you guys. So I feel like it is a very fun haul today. And let me get started. First of all, you have seen me haul these before. I did a video, if you find it from the past, it is Dollar Tree, Five Below, and a Target haul. That was my summer fun stuff that I got for the kids. And I did get the badminton rackets, the birdies, and a um, badminton net from Five Below. But I picked up some more rackets. These are for two different purposes. One, I got a couple extra because I feel like they are kind of flimsy and with the way kids can potentially treat rackets, it's good to have some extra in case they break. But the other reason I got these, I got three of them, is for some birthday party decor coming up at the end of summer. My son is planning to have a Harry Potter party. I did haul some of the decorations that I bought already, some of the plates and banners and the, the Harry Potter stuff. But I like to get on Pinterest and get ideas and I saw an idea where people used the circle, I think they were the rings that you used to do cross stitch and made the Quidditch, Quidditch, I think I'm saying that right. I am not big on Harry Potter, so if I am saying anything wrong, feel free to go ahead and, and let me know down below. But it's the Quidditch rings for the game. And so I thought maybe instead of making them out of that, I would take the strings off of this badminton racket and I will spray paint them, I think, gold. Like I think they're gold. Please leave a comment down below the color of the Quidditch rings that are on Harry Potter because I want to make sure that I do spray paint them the right color. But I figured I would spray paint these gold and set them up in a way that looks like Quidditch. Quid I feel like I hope I'm saying that right. Um, as Just as there's some decor. So this was one of my craft projects I'm going to do for his birthday. And you know, you got to pick them up when you find them because once these are gone, they're gone. And for $3 and a can of spray paint, and I do already have gold, so fingers crossed that that's actually the color of what they are. I just need to figure out a way to connect them to something. And there is just a nice piece of decor that, depending on how big it is and what it looks like, we could potentially use in his room for decoration too, because he has a Harry Potter room. So I thought those were really fun for his birthday. And now sticking to the birthday theme, I also have my daughter's birthday coming up. And we found this theme. It's called the Junk Food Fun. I did mention in the haul that I found this stuff in that it is harder and harder to find. They're discontinuing it at the Dollar Tree. I still haven't found plates. I will probably just do a solid color plate to match all of the little bits and pieces, but I found two, just two cups. And I thought maybe I could do like centerpieces or, you know, just some flowers. She likes flowers. Do a little couple bouquets of flowers coming out of these as part of her birthday decor. But I thought they were cute. They match. Anytime I find something different that I don't already have for that set, I've been picking it up and it's just getting fewer and fewer and fewer items. But I grabbed those. And to go along with her birthday, I grabbed these. They are ice cream bubbles. They're leaking because the the paper in here is all wet so they're not great for the bubbles but i thought i'm going to put some eyeballs on them and make them look like you know this food they all have kind of the little eyeballs and i thought why not put eyeballs on this cute ice cream set i have been on the lookout for the bags of food they're like in the little mesh bag and they have ice cream cones and i think like a chocolate bar and I think some donuts in it and they're like the the plastic foods in the toy section and I just I'm not coming across that yet but I saw these in the toy section and I thought these would also be just as cute with some eyeballs on them to go along with her decor and also for her birthday I had grabbed the teal colors silverware set that has the sparkles and then I found the pink so the pink also matches really well and they have the sparkles and so hopefully we will be all set but then I'll I have some just like solid color forks that I just always have because there's always leftovers from every party we have. So I got that to do her party. 
And then in the pet section, I don't get my puppies all that much from Dollar Tree. Typically, the toys are way too big, as are both of these. They're just, I have little Shih Tzus, so they're teeny. And their toys always seem, you know, really big, even when they're really cute. But I couldn't pass these ones up. This one reminds me maybe of like a piece of cake, like a doggy cake or something. But it's just got like the rainbowy colors and, and the dog bones and sp sprinkles. That's probably why it reminds me of a cake. And the rope. And one of my pups really loves like the rope toys, so I thought she might like this. And then I also grabbed the donut toy, and it has the rope as well. The donut has a squeaker in it. My dogs might come running. And oh, so does this. They both have the squeaker in them, and they're not loud and obnoxious squeakers, which are nice. So I got both of these as a little toy for the puppy dogs. They're not running, but they are walking slowly to me after hearing that. I got some pipe cleaners. I have some crafting I'm going to do. I want to make some wreaths and I thought maybe the pipe cleaners would be an easy way to hold the stuff onto the wreath that I am putting together and so I needed some. I have some somewhere and I don't know where they got placed so the kids like to play with them. Who knows if they've you know ran away with them. I got a notebook. I have too many notebooks. Lots and lots of notebooks. I liked this one. I loved the color of it. I like the way it says goals and I like the little confetti dots. And so I just thought I needed it. Um, I have a lot of a lot of goals that I'm working towards, so this is a good notebook to keep those in. I also just write a lot of lists. I have a, a notebook always in my purse, which works really well for my husband because he always has to write out a schedule. So if we're out and about and he needs to do that, he uses my notebooks. But I thought this one was really cute, so I picked it up. I grabbed these hooks i got three of them they're each one each for my kids room i actually already have three so i'm planning on doing two in each of the kids rooms for the reason that one will set a little lower and it can hold like their robes or their hot tub towels or just their towels for taking their baths but so like a nice little hook to hold the things in their rooms it has seven hooks on it so this is just really nice it's got the little holes so that we could screw them into the wall. And it, this one actually comes with the anchors and screws as well, which a lot of their stuff doesn't necessarily come with that. And then I got the second one. Mostly I was thinking the boys, but Lorelei too. They all have hats. And their hats just seem to end up everywhere. They have some ball caps. Lorelei has some sun hats. But they all have hats that just kind of end up who knows where, not really organized in any way. And so I thought if we get this hung up on their wall as well, then they would have a spot to put all their hats. And so I'm going to do one lower one for like their towels, maybe their jackets and coats, that kind of thing. And then the up higher one up for like their hats. And then in winter, they can put their, their winter caps on there and just so that it's easily found and organized. And so I grabbed that for their rooms. Oops. Now, on one of my hauls, a couple of my hauls before, I have mentioned that I have kayaks and we have a boat. And this says that it holds five times its weight in liquid. So... They, I've read about or watched videos on having like the big car wash sponges to be able to soak up the liquids and I thought this would also work really well to soak up any water that gets in the bottom of your kayak or potentially on your boat or when you're just trying to dry off the boat when you're done with it. I thought these would be really well. They seem like they're kind of that off brand of the Sham Shamwell. Shamwell I think was the made for TV you know one but so I thought we'd give these a try about you know with our boats and kayaks and all that about keeping things dry so thought that was worth a try for a dollar each I grabbed four we have three kayaks and a boat but I don't know if they'll end up you know one with each of the things or if we'll use them all on the boat or anything like that but I thought that those were a really neat idea for that I have already hauled a bunch of these totes I know you've seen them I have some bright pink ones I have some blue some teal and some light pink and I've been watching for white thrifty Tiffany we all know thrifty Tiffany in this community she is the absolute best but she made such a good point to have white ones on hand for gift giving I love to make gift baskets it's one of the things I just really enjoy doing and this is such a great size for a large gift basket now not all my gift baskets are this big but some can be and some need this size basket and you don't always find this size at the Dollar Tree. So I am still on the lookout for more white ones. One, I just redid my pantry and my kitchen not too long ago and I did everything in white. And these would be really good for some of that big storage. And actually now thinking out loud with that, I have some overflowing ones that are not quite as big that this would actually work really well in my pantry. 
So I'm still on the lookout for more white ones. I might have saw some gray ones too, and those would also work in my pantry. So if I see gray ones again, and for gift giving, but white is a hard color to come by. This was literally the only one in my Dollar Tree when I went in there was one, one lonely white bucket basket pale thing. So I picked up the one white one. I will be keeping an eye out for more, but these are awesome. They're huge. I have used the ones that I've already hauled, not for their intended purposes yet, but when we had end up with a bunch of shoes downstairs in just like the living area, we need to get them up to our rooms upstairs. I've been loading these up. I just loaded it up, took all the shoes up, dropped them off in each of the kids' rooms, and it just made it a lot easier and I could carry so many pairs in one of these. I had a garage sale. I loaded it up with the stuff I needed outside and I had it all right there in this nice big bin next to me the whole time. So it was just really useful for that. So I'm just finding so many just regular day-to-day -day uses and they are not even what I had bought them for the purpose of, but they've worked really well. So these are a great find. I recently found, and these were something new to me, these little canisters. I found them in the like school supply office section. I only picked up the one and then I thought of uses for the other colors too. I saw this mint color. I thought about this on my desk because I'm in my office area right now. And as you can tell, this is a color that I really like in here. And I thought about this on my desk, but then, or, and or for my daughter's room, because this is also the accent color in my daughter's room because it's her favorite color as well. And they have a pink and a green. And I kind of wish I would have grabbed a pink too because it can sit on my nightstand or with my makeup and hold like makeup brushes in it and that kind of thing. So I, if I run across the pink ones again, I'm going to get one for my room, one or two for my room for my either my bathroom or my nightstand. But they have this pretty shine on it and it has those two like decorative lines that you can see on there. And it's just really cute. They label it as a pen holder, but I mean, you can use it for makeup brushes. You put some of the stones that the Dollar Tree sells in their floral department and it'll hold your makeup brushes up. Uh, my daughter has a ton of scrunchies and hair ties and just randomness. So on her little desk vanity, it can hold a bunch of her little stuff. And so, you know, you can use it for pretty much anything. But like I said, they have it noted as a pen holder, which it absolutely will work for that as well. But they're really pretty and they're a new item. So I will now be keeping an eye out for a pink one now that I, you know, think about it as I talk. I picked up these cups. I saw other people hauling them and they are awesome. I typically buy the ones from Starbucks and they, I think, do cost a little bit more, you know, at least a dollar for one, probably more than that. And this is a dollar for two. I got the pineapple one that says Summer Vibes in my favorite color, other than pink, of course. It doesn't tell me how many ounces this is. It's not recommended to be used in the microwave or dishwasher, so hand wash it, otherwise you're gonna lose your pretty decal right there. If you have a Cricut, you have a whole nother side that you can personalize, which makes it really fun. And I love these cups for making iced coffee or taking drinks to go. I just, they're some of my favorite style of cups. So I grabbed a couple of these because it's such a good deal and I really like the pineapple and summer vibes. So I grabbed those. The other day I really just needed a brush in my purse and I didn't have one. And so when I was at Dollar Tree, I grabbed this cute little flamingo brush. Not the best brush, you know, that you could purchase. It's not gonna be like as good as the one that I have up in my, my room. But if I hit like a windy day and your hair starts flying all over and you could just feel that like it has like the tangles in it, it'll it'll work for that. Yeah, not the best brush. It doesn't push really through, but it's it'll do what it needs to do. And so I thought it would be really nice to just have it in my purse. It's small, compact, not huge. So that's why I grabbed that. I picked up two soap dispensers. And I got an idea, and it was not my idea. I saw it on Pinterest, not Pinterest. I saw it on Instagram. Someone had it on Instagram. And I just thought, what a great idea. And it'll look so nice next to my kitchen sink where they had these two bottles and they labeled them with their Cricut. One said hands, the other one said dishes. So instead of just having the generic hand soap bottle and dish soap bottle, you put them both in these and they just look really nice. And so I'm gonna try that out. So I'm gonna label them with my Cricut hands and dishes and put them next to the sink just to give it a little bit nicer look. And I'm really excited about that. As far as food, I only grabbed a couple things. It is summertime, the kids are home and they don't stop eating. And I thought muffins would be fun to make as a breakfast idea one of the days. So instead of having to you know, get up and cook pancakes or eggs or you know, just breakfast. They also love cereal, so we're fine because they eat a lot of cereal. 
But, you know, I'm going to make some muffins. Each of these looks like it makes... How many muffins does this make? Huh. Why can I not find this? Fill mini muffin cups. So you can make 18 mini muffins. I feel like it's six regular muffins, but I'm not sure. Okay, it makes two muffins, three servings. Yeah, so six muffins, each one. Wow, that was a lot of work. Each one of these makes six muffins, so I got a dozen muffins here. I got three kids. They probably each eat two. So one package will be perfect for our breakfast, but I got two. I got the chocolate chip and the blueberry. I thought that, like I said, this would just be a nice, easy breakfast. And to be honest, some of them always say they want to bake and do stuff, so we can just do a little, you know, morning where they're going to, you know, bake their own breakfast. I'll be there, obviously, with them, but they might have a lot of fun with that. So I got the muffins for them. I got this sun-kissed pineapple water mix, 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 mixture, mix. Um, my son actually wanted it. He said, I love pineapple, and he put it in his, one of them in his water. He really liked it. So... I got that. The kids can have it to maybe help them drink some water when they're playing outside or I'll make ice cubes with it. I bought the flamingo and pineapple ice cube trays a couple hauls back and this one I thought would probably come up yellow and it would make cute for the pineapple tray because it'd have a pineapple flavor in your water and so that was kind of my other idea for that. And then on to some toiletry type items. I grabbed a Crest Whitening Toothpaste, 2.3 ounces for a dollar. I feel like that's a really good deal. I don't know if it's as good as, you know, buying it at Walmart or not, but I was there and why not? I've been using some whitening strips on my teeth, so why not add to it with a 3D white toothpaste? Just try to get my teeth as white as possible when I'm doing the work for it. So I grabbed that. I grabbed this Travel Kit toothbrush, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know why I bought this. I think I was probably looking at it and I instead of putting it back, I threw it in my cart. But my son will use this. My husband can use this. We are planning on doing some traveling, so it'll be nice just to grab and go. So I'll just add it to some of our travel stuff. It doesn't hurt to have it. I picked up this styling cream. I picked up the gel as well at another time. And so my son, I have two of them, you know, we have them do their hair. And so we're going to try this out. I watch Pookie's view on here on YouTube and she had her son try it and she said that it worked really well in his hair. This one says that it's going to have a touchable natural looking hair with matte and no sheen finish. So it's got that like flexible hold on it. And my son, my oldest son, he doesn't like the crunchy, the hardness in his hair. So he might like this one because it will keep it, you know, to the side, but not hard. So we're going to try that out, see if he likes that. And then I found some hard candy, and I want to say wish list, but it wasn't even on my wish list because I didn't even know it was out there. I don't know if I've seen this on any hauls yet. It might be, I just might have missed it or not been paying attention, but I found this Instant Lip Fix Treatment Duo. So it's hard candy. It's got one side that has a scrub. It's exfoliating coconut oil sugar scrub. And the other side is the treat, which is rosehip oil, mango butter, and it hydrates. So it's got the two pieces where you're gonna scrub it and then you're gonna put the moisture on it. And so I'm really excited to give this a try. During the summer with the sun and stuff, I feel like my lips get just really dry over the summer. And so this I'm really hoping is going to help. So it says first you're gonna scrub in circular motions and then gently wipe away with a tissue. And then you treat, you put the treatment on afterwards as needed. So I'm really excited to give this a try. Like I said, I don't know if it was even a wish list item at this point because I don't even know if I knew it existed, but I was excited to find it and I will be using it. I got this hard candy. It looks like it's leaking in there. That's not good. Setting spray, luminous. And I don't like it that it's leaking. I don't know what's going on. It's all wet in there. So this one says that it contains coconut oil and pearl that help give a dewy luminous looking appearance and it hydrates upon application and will last up to 12 hours so that's really nice you spray it over your foundation eyeshadow blush and concealer just to set your look and again it looks like it's leaking i wish i could smell it when it's leaking but so i grabbed that one 
I got this Wet n Wild Tame and Define for your eyelashes and eyebrows. I have this one eyebrow over here that I just feel like always goes rogue. And so I was going to try this out to try to keep that rogue eyebrow where it belongs, keep him in a seat. So I got this to try out. And lastly, I grabbed some Hard Candy Eyeshadows that is in number 520 Flirty. It's got like a really pretty kind of almost nude, pinky, sandy type color. Really pretty. And I love Hard Candy's packaging. It's really funny. I get really excited about the palettes. And you get the palettes all for a dollar, which is an amazing, amazing deal. But then I find just the little squares, which I also get really excited about for a dollar. So it's just really fun because like you can find such a difference in... And what you find but all of it's exciting when you find the hard candy makeup so i'm really excited to try out this color i have in the past hauled already some of the other colors one of them i think was called oink and it's got like the three colors in the one little palette oops in the one little palette like this so it's got like a pink a brown and a white in it and when i use it it comes out pretty white overall like more of a white color so i've been using that as my like eyebrow color and i really really love it it's probably one of my favorite ones right now. And then I found the L'Oreal color, and it's like a rose gold color. It's got like this pink rose. Oh, it's my favorite, my favorite one. I did buy two when I bought it because I knew I was going to love it. And if I come across it again, I'm going to buy more because it's my current favorite eyeshadow. I'm wearing it today, but I don't think you could tell this far away. So that is my haul today. Thank you again so much. Thank you so much for being here again. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video keep coming back and watching what I got for you guys. Um, leave a comment below if there's any questions, comments, concerns that you have. And again, just thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.